can hardly believe it. It's almost too good to be true. Mother went to the store and she bought me a book full of lots of empty pages I can do things to. If I want to draw a wiener or sauce and throw a picture of a beautiful day, print my favorite colors and suits. Anything I want is a okay. Cause it's my top secret personal beeswax. The whole wide world according to me. I'll keep my top secret personal beeswax. And you keep it under the lock and key. I'll take my top secret personal beeswax. And put it in the style of me. Top secret personal beeswax. The Latin has to be. Well, maybe if not, I'll share it with you. Let's see. Where should I begin? My name is Junie B. Jones. Her name is Junie. The B stands for Beatrice. Hey, Junie Beatrice. Except I don't like Beatrice. She was named after the month of Junie. The month of Junie. That's why they call her Junie B. If I could have a different name, I think it would be Pedro. It would be her. Let's talk about Junie B. I live in a house with mother, daddy, and baby Ollie, and my pet dog, Tickle. That's Junie family. They are fascinating people, except for baby Ollie, who is not the sharp tool in the barn. A lovely family. I go to class with somebody other M um, school, and I'm very busy getting ready for first grade. So much to baby. I got new crayons and new stickers, and a new pencil with a teddy bear lace on top. Now on, ladies. Look at all these pages waiting to be filled. I have to say the pile is very tall. Ask me how I'm feeling. I have to tell you, wow! First grade at last. I'm a wreck. Just think about it. There's a whole room full of friends just waiting to meet you. Don't you want to meet them? No, thank you. There's nothing to worry about, Junie B. You're going to love it. I promise. year. Lucille, Lucille, it's me, Junie B. It's your bestest friend from kindergarten, Junie B. Jones. I'm so glad to see you, friend. Stop it, Junie B. You're wrinkling my new dress. This thing costs a fortune. 
They're good as new. Come on, Lucille. Let's go find two desks together. Think we should sit near the door? Want to, huh? If we sit near the door, we can stare at people who walk down the hall. No, Junipi, no. I'm going to sit here. I already picked it out with my two new friends, Tinio and Tinio. Twins, twins, they're twins, Lucille. It's our lucky day. Come on. Come on, Lucille. Let's go touch them. Hurry, before the line forms. No, Junior B. Camille and Chino don't want to be touched. And besides, I'm their new best friend, not you. Yes, but I can be their best friend along with you, right? Right, Lucille? All I have to do is meet them, right? And then all of us can be best friends together. No, Junior B. Camille, you and I have already been best friends. Remember? For a whole long year. And so now, it's... Time for Camille and Chanel to get a turn. It's only fair of me, and besides, their name finally matches. Lucille! Camille! Chanel! Yeah! Doesn't that sound marvelous? I say first grade is a flop. Grr, ha, huh? that was a good one. Yeah, only there's one problem with Goo, but Goo isn't actually a laughing, joking matter. Plus, I wasn't even talking to you. I know you weren't talking to me. No one on this bus ever talks to me. That's because last year I went to a different school, so I don't have any bus friends yet. Well, I used to have a bus friend. Today, I'm dropping her like hot tomato. You mean potato. Bobby G. Piper, where's our diaper? Sit down, Junie B. Maybe just for today, I can sit here just until you get your, your new bus friend back, I mean. If you want to see you, I suppose that that might be alright. If you want to sit here, I suppose that I will be polite. First grade makes you tired, why not sit a while? I will take the window seat and you can have the aisle. Oh, but you're a nice boy, and I think I will have to say. You can be my friend just for today. I will sing to Mary if tomorrow after school you're free. I might feel like bowling if you want to, you could go with me. 
Let me check my date book. Right now I like do it. Let's see here. It looks like that tomorrow I could do it. If you can't, no problem. I was going to learn any We can make some plans just for today. Well, this is my stop. See you tomorrow then. See you tomorrow. And Junie B? Yes, Grr. Grr. I think, I mean, I like this. Let's see how everyone did. Well, my, my, Lenny drew a man wearing a coat. Man and coat were both on the board, weren't they? They were, all right. Wait, wait a minute. Cool, bat and ball. And Jose, you drew an ice cream cone, didn't you? Si, me gusta helado. Wait a minute. Oh, May, what a special clock you drew. The big hand has five fingers, that is very unusual. Yes, I created it, it myself. Plus, clock was the hardest word up there, I bet. And I'm the only one who knew the word clock, I bet. Clock? Junie B, you wanna show me your drawing? Don't you want a gold star for today? No, thank you. Um, I really don't want a gold star for the day. Thank you for asking. Oh, I'm sorry, Junie B. I really need to see what you drew. I need to make sure you understood the assignment. Oh, wow, Junie B. You drew a wonderful picture of, um, uh, of, um... I, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I suppose so. Um, uh, thing is, uh, cluck wasn't on the board. Well, what about butt? Bull? Coop? You? Sweetheart, you look absolutely adorable. Well, what if no one likes me anymore? What if I'm walking to one one and everyone laughs their heads off and I think I look like a Goonie boy and no one wants to be my friend anymore? Junie B, there's more to friendship than what you look like. Tell that to Lucille. What? It's no use. I'm done for. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. We give a great big yell. It's time for show and tell. No school year would be complete without it. Bring your favorite thing to school and talk about it. Tell me what could be my spell. Tell me what could be my spell. Tell me what could be my spell. It's time for show and tell.
Judy B, did you bring something to share? No, I changed my mind. What's wrong, Junie B? What did you bring? Huh? Stop whispering, homie, Junie B. Jones. If you don't just wait now, I may tell the teacher. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. Here's a story for you. It's called, Once Upon a Time, My Grandpa Named F Frank Miller went to the store and he bought me some mittens. Once upon a time, my grandfather Frank Miller went to the store and he bought me some mittens. They are made out of black furry fur. And guess what? It wasn't even my birthday or Christmas or Valentine's Day. Plus, the mittens were not even on sale. Grandpa Miller just bought them for no good reason. And that's the bestest reason I've ever heard of. That's how come I love that guy very much. Plus, also, he can skip. The end. I'll call the top secret person on these maps. My fascinating history. Time. Wow.